great crowd on a beautiful day. It's a short kick as they kick away. And that's Miller Forrestal that will take it just short of the 30-yard line, Chris Button. Sherman Williams, 12th all-time in rushing. And again, a fake this time to Damian, and it's Jerry Judy wide open across the middle. Somehow keeps his feet. Look at this athleticism down to the 20-yard line. Incorporated into the pass. A couple of tight ends at the bottom of your screen, and it's Jacobs following them into the end zone. Here come the tide. Bubble to Regis over his head. Three and out for UL. The field defensively for the Crimson Tide is studying. They were ready. And it's blocked. And the Crimson Tide jump on it inside the 15-yard line. As the play's made there by Derek Keith. Snap a little bit low and you're going rugby style. Great job by Keith adjusting his rush. Because you see, these punters, when they're going for a rugby style kick, they're going to work to one side of the formation. That time, it could not have laid out any better. Second and nine. There's going to be some confusion there as Tunga Valoa throws it to the end zone, but no problem. Henry Ruggs, touchdown. And toss ahead to Malone, and he's got no place to go. Anthony Jennings and Mac Wilson in the backfield. Billy Napier is third and 11 for Nunez. Muddy pocket, and it looked like that ball was altered fourth down. It was Anthony Jennings who has lived in the backfield in the early going. The difficulty you'll always have is it's just a matter of time. So if it's slow developing, nowhere to go with the football as Jennings gets there, right as Nunez releases the football. For protection in front of Reese Burns after the last one was blocked, and this one barely gets off. And Waddle will field it at the 37-yard line. This guy can fly as you see the big hit. As he comes around the corner, he looks for daylight in front, cuts it back to the middle. Watch out. See ya. 63 yards. Second and nine after the one-yard carry. Make the toss, make the handoff, and down you go. Big loss. Back inside the 30-yard line as Xavier McKinney claps his hands. And there's a lot of ball handling on this play. Trying to catch the tied eyes in the offensive backfield. Sack against Kellen Mond last week. Now third and 19. Catch made up at the 35-yard line. That'll be fourth down after a five-yard completion to Jamarcus Bradley. The deuce, David Palmer, Avi Arenas, some of the best returners in school history as they punt that one away from him. Bailoa wants to take a shot. He's got a wide open receiver inside the 20. It's Judy again. Now the option is Tunga Bailoa will keep himself taking on defenders to the doorstep inside the two. The snap. Jacobs straight ahead. No problem. Josh Jacobs with his fourth rushing touchdown on this early season as we got a new quarterback in this is levi lewis straight ahead to trey ragus and ragus takes it past the 40 yard line that's a first down run for the this sophomore from new orleans did you take five for lewis as he throws an incomplete pass he was looking for malone and you see the finger wave from shaheem carter just had one block and one taken back for a touchdown as a flag comes in here. And Swaddle makes the fair catch at the 15-yard line. A downfield pass. Now this play hit in the backfield is Najee Harris. As Harris will lose a few as Chauncey Manning comes in to make the tackle. And the program's dealing with it. The red shirt rule, the interface of having four games in play. And how about this throw from the guy that sticks it out in Tuscaloosa on a third and 13 to Waddle to move the chains that he received on this second and six has plenty of time stands tall and delivers a bullet to Ruggs and look at this space and the guy flies into the end zone this team is outrageous with its talent we 
he's able to step in and fill in. One on two over there to the sideline to Keenan Barnes. It's incomplete. Savion Smith, you see there in coverage. Here, leader of Alabama's secondary this season with so much inexperience. Waddle fields that one just inside the 30. If you give him a chance to return, it's hard to bring him down. Look at this guy run all over the football field. Changing direction four times and bringing it almost to the 50. You can't ever turn your television off when he has the football. After review, the ruling is that the return man's knee was down at the 30-yard line. It'll be first and 10 from the 30 for Alabama. Please reset the game clock. 11 minutes, 54 seconds. Another look at this. It was a knuckleball punt. Yeah, he's definitely down. You see that left knee down on the turf of what the defense is doing. Hurts under pressure. Down he goes back near the 30-yard line as he faked that one to Jacobs and Carlos Robinson, the junior from Monroe, Louisiana, on the tackle. Processing a little bit slow. Just the fourth sack. Alabama's allowed this season, and then he loads up and throws a strike to Ruggs, who stays in there to make the catch and take the hit. And Jacobs breaking tackles inside the 30-yard line. And part of the reason goal at the five. Harris, look at this. Just too easy. Touchdown, Bama. Most film watched. Nunez on a third and 12, and the catch is underneath. Short of the first down is Diggs is there to make the tackle. Oh. Watt will get another chance here. No, fair catch. Gets away from it. And the Cajuns will down it just inside the 40-yard line. Bam from a meet. Louisiana as Jacobs still finds the edge and gets the first down. Block defenders. And to Harris, plenty of time and delivers a strike to Hale to Irv Smith. That's 13 more for the big junior tight end from New Orleans so far. Tungabaloa to the end zone, in stride to Waddle. It's really early in the season. It's still late September, but you can understand why all these people are talking about Tua Tungabailoa potentially being in New York in December. The finesse plays versus the physical plays. That's the balance that Alabama wants to strike. And look at this. Staying on his feet is Regus past midfield. Getting the ball to midfield. Far their longest play in the game, and on the next play, it's all Crimson Tide in the backfield as you see Christian Miller there. Yep. Quiet Fury, I think the local headline was for Bucks. First throw of the second half is picked off. In stride, that's Xavier McKinney making the interception. You see number 30 tracking upfield quickly, beats the block, gets a shot on Nunez. Ill advised. McKinney able to come up with yet another interception on this. Toss to Harris. And patient running payoff as he tiptoes the sideline and is out of bounds near the 40. Oh, snap. That play was tough to develop. Nice play from the backside. He can score in under a minute, done it 11 times. And that ball incomplete to Jerry Judy. Dangerous pass there by Hertz. Made a 47-yarder against the Aggies last week. And this one is no good. Second and seven. Nice pass out of the backfield by Levi Lewis. Caught by Elijah Mitchell. It's a first down for the Ragin' Cajuns. It's a third and eight as Lewis will sprint out. Incomplete one hopper in front of his intended receiver as McKinney was in the backfield again. Defensive coordinator for the top program in the country. Waddle with the fair catch at the 11. Coming up to. And there 
there's his second completion. Hitting Waddle in stride, and watch out. This could go all the way. 95 yards. Rebels and the LSU Tigers late tonight. On ESPN, it's the throw there is in stride. Andre Nunez finding Keenan Barnes with a completion up to the 44-yard line. Carried for his father. Such a successful high school football coach. Elijah Mitchell breaking tackles with stiff arms. And look at this. Near the goal line, he'll be marked out at the one. That's a 40-yard run. Joshua McMillan preventing the touchdown. Regus at the goal line. Touchdown. And Sony Michelle in the heartbreak they had on their face. Robinson picks up where he left off inside the 40-yard line for 12 more. With the better tackling, no explosive plays, they run the football with authority, like we're seeing here. This is what they were talking about. Jones slings another one, but it's dropped. Missing that 24-yarder. And this one hits the post. I got an idea. Straight ahead goes Regis into the Alabama secondary. It's over past the 35-yard line. Chip, he still feels his team needs to be more efficient for four quarters. As you see the tackle for loss there by Jamie Mosley. Saturday at 11 a.m. Central Time. And this is Regis over 100 yards now. And with another... Ragin' Cajun first down. Back to back weeks with a 100 yard rusher on the ground. This is Mitchell inside near the 25 yard line. Monday. Front line players still competing at the end. Iabi Anoma in the backfield. The freshman from Baltimore, Maryland. Football Mike Loxley was the first to notice him. As Nunez will throw a third and three and wide open for the touchdown is Jamarcus Bradley. So he gets behind Jared Maiden. He follows a sea of Alabama blockers inside the 40-yard line down near the 35. Have you? And look at Ford Gasham again as he's out of bounds near the 20-yard line. If you liked all the arm with Clark getting the handoff and tackled at the 15-yard line. Met in the backfield there by Braylon Trahan, and that's it. Alabama hangs 56 on the Ragin' Cajuns, who fought hard for 60 minutes with old friend Billy Napier coming back to Tuscaloosa today. It was about as complete a first half as you could have wanted. Got a little bumpy in the second half, but yet another impressive victory for the time. And